So you want to know how to deliver a bowl. We are here to teach you every single step. And we'll take you through four different pieces of it, starting with this very video on the grip. Let's get to it. We're here at the beautiful greens of Heritage Greens Lawn Bowling Club, my home club in Kitchener, Ontario. And I'm here to show you the very first step in a great delivery, the grip. Now the grip can be broken down into a few sections, okay? Stable, you want a stable grip. You don't want the bowl falling, you don't want the bowl dropping without you actually rolling it off your fingers. Comfortable. You want it to be nice and comfortable. No stress on your arm, no stress on your shoulder or on your fingers, okay? Nice and comfortable. And you want it to allow for a clean release. Now, we might not get into the release on this video, but we will get onto it at the end of our delivery series where the release is really, really key to having a great bowl. Because once it's released, you have no control over it, right? So that release is key. So let's start with the grip. How am I gonna grip the bowl? Do I need to like really squeeze it? Do I need to hold it very lightly so that I can just roll it off my hand? Well, I was taught two ways when I first came into bowls and I didn't like either of them. But the first way was this, the claw grip. Now think of an amusement park where you have that claw where you're dropping it to get prizes. Claw grip, you're clawing it. It's a lot of spread on your fingers to get around that bowl and this finger is on the center line. It's not ideal. I don't like it. I used to use it. And I didn't really enjoy what I was doing and I always felt that there was something wrong and I always felt that I was having to release it. Now as an exaggeration, you know, think I'm trying to release all my fingers at the same time. It's not that bad, but you're still trying to get rid of a pinky squeezing, a thumb squeezing on it and you don't have a lot of stability on this one finger. So if it comes off on the wrong side or wobbles, that's not ideal, that's not good. The second one that I was shown was the palm grip or the cradle grip. Now, think of it, your palm, there it is. It seems simple, seems easy enough. The problem I had with this was that I always felt that I was pushing. Okay. If I needed a little extra and I, I had it in my palm, I was trying to push it to get it up to my fingers and off. I didn't like that. And some bowlers have that push delivery, but you want it up on your fingers so that it just rolls off easy. Now, the grip I'm gonna show you today is one that I learned from Dan Milligan, the delivery doctor. Hi, it's the delivery doctor again. Dan came up with a step-by-step -step process for a very simple, easy to follow grip that anybody can use. Now you start off with doing nothing strange with your hands, as if you were accepting a money or a sandwich or something from somebody, your hand goes out, nothing strange with my fingers. I'm not doing the claw and I'm not doing the palm. Natural spread, boom. And I place the bowl in there, not in the palm. There's air, it's up on the fingers, and only these two fingers are on the running surface. And if I want to do something strange, take off all my fingers, I can still balance it. And the idea is that this will roll off of these two fingers nice and easy, okay? It's so simple and I should have thought of it, do nothing strange with my hands. I just want something that's balanced, which is these two fingers. I want something that's smooth, it's gonna roll off nice and easy, and no tension on my arm. I'm not doing anything strange, so there's no tension on my arm. The bowl is in my hand, okay? And I can roll it. The one thing that you have to be aware of is where your thumb goes. So if I look at it, Recommended thumb goes somewhere from the bottom of the circle towards the upper ring, not on top and not way down below. Somewhere near the mid, maybe a little bit higher if you need to or you feel more comfortable, 
This adds stress because you're gripping and you're pushing your thumb up top. Not good for your arm. And the other one, you're getting too close to the other fingers and causing a disruption. It, it almost is unnatural to get your, your thumb down here, okay? If I throw it up, natural. Natural grip. Two fingers on the running surface. Super simple. Nothing fancy. And this can work for every single person out there. But you still have to understand looking at your delivery, looking at how your grip is helping you and make adjustments. Sometimes because of our hands, maybe we've had damage, broken bones, strains. My fingers are a little crooked because of sports. Or if you have the wrong type of equipment and we can get into that later, you have a bowl that's a little too small or a little too big, you're gonna need to grip it a little bit harder because you can't hold on to it. That's a whole other problem, but you need to understand and identify this. Okay. If you're using a size seven and you have really small hands and you're trying to, to do a nice natural grip, it's not gonna work. You're gonna be dropping that. And it's not the grip's fault, it's the bull's fault. Okay. Try this out. It's fundamental. It is just super, super simple steps and you will get a ton out of it, I guarantee you. And make the adjustments that you need to make it as comfortable, as stable and as stress-free as you possibly can. And with that, may all your bowls be touching.